They are two of the highest profile union flag protesters, but tonight Willie Fraser is in custody being questioned on suspicion of public order offences. And detectives are still searching for Jamie Bryson. Both men's homes were searched in separate police operations. Well, Jamie Bryson has briefly come out of hiding to speak exclusively to our correspondent Sharon O'Neill. They are the public faces of the Ulster People's Forum, key figures in the union flag protests. But tonight, Willie Fraser is in custody and police are also looking to arrest Jamie Bryson. This morning, police carried out searches in South Armagh and North Down. Willie Fraser was arrested at his Market Hill home just before nine. And the 52-year-old loyalist was taken to a Belfast police station and is being questioned on suspicion of public order offences relating to the flag protests. At the same time, a separate police operation was underway in Donica D at the home of Jamie Bryson. Officers had the power to arrest the loyalist on the spot, but he wasn't in and they began looking for him. The focus then shifted a few miles away to the Kilcooley estate in Bangor. Officers searched three offices Jamie Bryson has links to, then towed away his car. Well, the police came and very politely came into the office and asked for permission to just check the offices. They said they were looking for someone uh, and we were happy to oblige and went through each of our offices, went through all of the various stores just to check and then out the back that there was no one hiding in the premises. Bryson did briefly come out of hiding to face our questions. Will you hand yourself in? Certainly not. Um, I have not committed any crime. All I have done is exercise my God-given right to peaceful um, and democratic process. I have not been involved in any that. I have not been involved in any violence. This is political policing. This operation marks a major shift in police tactics. Operation Dulcet, targeting lawbreakers, has now identified 200 new suspects. And the officer in charge of that investigation told UTV just days ago they would take action against those involved in the weekly Saturday march, which police now say is illegal. We've gone about 50 steps backwards, so I don't know where we're at now at the, at the minute. And the conduct of the PSNI um, has put us to this stage. So see right now, it's all up in the air. I have no idea where this is going to go. By moving against two of the highest profile union flag protesters, police are sending out a clear signal that they are taking a harder line. Sharon O'Neill, UTV Live.